I don't know, but I think there's ducks. There's ducks right in there. I can see them right now. The little ducks are getting bigger. Try to go fast. They're swimming in there so good. <laughs> you need them. Okay. Precious spirit soul that you are. Breathe through your nose into your heart and exhale through your mouth. Do it a couple of times. Notice where you are. Touch something. Get a sense, be in your body. Okay? Be right here. Now, topic how to get rid of opposition okay what causes opposition so if we want to get rid of something you have to look at what causes it when my body had rheumatoid arthritis a uh, back um, when I was living in India a few year quite a few years ago um, I went to the computer and I looked up because I said, what is this? Because I, I kept thinking it would go away, but just terrible burnings and burnings in my my arms. And just, just just intense, just terrible. And I went, what is this? And then it would go away, so, and then come back, and all this kind of stuff. It would go on and on and on. So I went to the computer, and I, I typed in, cause a natural cure for rheumatoid arthritis. And I searched and searched and searched, and I, 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 there were a lot of people who would have products or just signs that you can't, there's no possibility. See, I never accept the verdict of someone else like that. Why should I give someone else the power to, to determine my, what happens to me by believing what they have to say is more valuable than what I know, will know in my own being? See, I, I just, when I even have known things, um, I know... I've had a lot of wild things happen. <laughs> anyway, so the cause and natural cure for, and when I found it, uh, after doing the research, I eliminated all of the stuff that was causing it, and that was probably, let me think, 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 um, maybe 13 years ago, I guess, 14 years ago, gone. And yet, so I also know what caused it, and to prevent that, by um, not doing what causes the problem. Okay, how you get rid of opposition. Opposition then comes from our attachment to a particular form, a particular thing, a particular event, a particular person a, a parti that we expect or want to attain as if our life depends on it. And you are life, so your life doesn't depend on anyone or anything. You are a no thing, a nothing. Uh, uh, you are a being beyond numbers and letters and sounds or magnetism, any of this. So that's why we, when you are, know and be who you are, you're not attached to the form because you are open to how the divine manifests that which is your, you might call it heart's desire, even though the word is desire, that means to not manifest it because you have a desire. <clears throat> it's very tricky in the words. And you can change your meaning for those also because we're using them and you can give it yours or use it as you desire or want to for the results you want. Anyway, how you eliminate opposition. When you have a strong expectation, when any of us do, have a strong expectation that something needs to happen in order for you to be happy, and most of the fear is the, about the fear of future misery, 
are pain, suffering. Okay. Now, we do not have pain or suffering as who we are, divine beings, because we are not of this reality or of this particular body form. It's almost like we're wearing a costume for the role we're playing, the scene or the movie we're, we're having our part in, but it's usually someone else's movie. And you don't need a movie. Okay. Anyway, when we set up opposition is the moment you have to have something. The moment it, you, you like, this is it. Opposition is set up in the mind. And opposition then, if you tell others or that how important it is, you're going to set up opposition in them as well, in the mind. Because the duality works on opposites being in conflict. When you bring opposites together and you, and, and you realize what they are, and then you are no longer in opposites like good and bad, you are ultimate absolute goodness. And as absolute goodness, you are always endeavoring for the well-being and joy and, and, and who uh, of all living entities. And that we live by the cosmic law, but beyond that God, uh, divine law, is to not intentionally ever cause distress to any living entity. That includes animal-bodied beings as well as, as uh, a humanoid, uh, suppose, body types. They're, they're body types. But you do not need to identify yourself with the body type as who you are. However, when we're also playing roles or parts, it's great, like, if you're a mother, that you play the part of the mother. And what is a mother? A mother is nourishing and enriching, and just like we might call Earth Mother in the in the sense that the elements of the earth are also in the sky and they're also in the body because they come from then the earth, those, those particular elements. And these elements, earth and fire and oxygen, uh, ether, water, this is what we call nature in harmony. When the elements are in harmony, they create through consciousness or thoughts or ideas the outward manifestation of the reality. So the key to, to uh, get rid of opposition is to be detached. That when you... When you desire, uh, or, or would say a partner, a mate, or you desire to, um, what you might say, um, okay, lose weight because you, th you know, okay. The more then that it's important to you about something, the more you're going to put opposition to you because you're saying my ideas, which have become come from programming, or I know how to make this work. I know how to make it work because I'll arrange it in all these ways out here. That's people who do, they don't want any surprises. So everything then becomes systematized for that person, categorized. Uh, there's plans for it, there's programs for it because the person is so afraid of loss, death, loss of, loss of their perks and goodies, however that may be, that they want to control everything and all, all this control sets up opposition, and that keeps uh, this agitated uh, reality happening that is out of harmony with the divine manifestation. So that creates a perverted view, a perverted uh, reflection, rather than us not having a reflection but being who we are. You get rid of opposition by being detached. Um, in uh, metaphysics, it says, do not outline. When you accept that you're ready to, to, to prosper, that means to allow yourself to have live in, in harmony with nature and in the way that brings out um, uh, the fullness of who you are and supports you in who you are and to do your work and to 
completely ha be self-realized and self-actualized and self-activated -act in your fullness without the layers of any ignorance, you then realize, have real eyes and knowledge and understand that when you truly want that, yes, and you ask and, and make that connection with your partner, source, beloved, as, as a team, together each achieves more. But th what I'm saying is to acknowledge you ha you what you're part of, uh, and our labels and words are not sufficient, but a reservoir of all that is in abundance, of that never runs out. Love never runs out. You never run out. You're never depleted. Yet we could be covered with all these layers of beliefs and concepts that we're trying to promote, defend. So we then get all these expectations of this has to happen this way and you have to talk this way and this has to happen for me out here. So then I'm always in anxiety, is it going to happen and this isn't. But when you're working with the divine, you see, the mystic level, when you center on your ready, there it is. I had to tell you, I was looking for this pair of certain kind of shoes that really are cool, but I, and, and I found him. I mean, I was saying just the other day, just that, you know, because I've had these about 10 years and they're really cool uh, for when I need to wear shoes to slip on and I won't give the brand name or anything like this. But anyway, I just, just the way I was like, I just said, you know, they don't make this one anymore. So where do I find it? At a yard sale, we are up here at Shasta. This is we have a family up here. We we say have a whole cultural group of of uh, yard sailors, and then you get to meet all these people, go to their houses. You get to it's like a big it's like a festival. You know, it's it's fun. So anyway, there they are, brand new, oh, vintage almost vintage, but brand new. Exactly. It was like, da, 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 da. but I mean, that's in little things, but it's not even that. I, it was only because it wasn't, ex it, it, it's just that, yeah. And then you become to witness. But as long as you say, this has to happen, and then you're also telling other be people that's going to happen, and I have it, it's a, it's a sure thing, it's always mine, you're always telling everybody, and it doesn't. Because you set up opposition to yourself through the mind and through the minds of others. And then that opposition wears the person down, you see. And now they're fighting in opposition instead of doing the thing. That means to let go and let God. Great idea.